Hi everyone, alright, so this is Dasher and welcome back again to my channel. Finally, I'll be doing another vlog and I just finished uh, my work for today. So today I'll be featuring one awesome Singaporean who plays piano so well, who's becoming a TikTok superstar. Wow, his name is James Wong. We will be meeting each other later because we are going to make a collab. I'll update you guys once um, I'm in location. Na ako. I'll see you guys in a while. Ciao! Okay, because I'm bored, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna change my clothes. Kasi parang feeling ko ang pangit ng damit ko. So I'll go to H&M. Oh, how will I go up? Okay, so we're inside now. I just want this. It's only $7. Now I'm wearing some good. So I think I'm good with this jack. May aran na natin to, mita. There, okay na ako. Love my necklace. Ciao. So, gala muna tayo while waiting for James Wong. I wanna go to the library. So I'm gonna wait for James in the library here at Somerset. So this is my, one of my go-to place if I want to make tambay. We're here, the library. I just went here to take some clips. <laughs> Actually, you know guys, I'm here now at Orchard and I kind of miss doing vlog. Because it's been a while since I last posted uh, a vlog, like a real vlog. Usually I just do reaction videos and cover songs. But now I'm doing vlog and this is because I'm gonna meet one person, which is James, and I'm waiting for him. So he said he's gonna be here around 6.40 and time check it's around 6.35 now. We're gonna talk about our collab and we'll get to know him a little more later. I'm so excited for this day. This is our first time to meet. I think I saw him already. Hey, hey, hey! I'm on vacation every What's single up, day because I love my uh, occupation. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, bro. I'm on vacation. <laughs> so finally, like hey guys, my bro is here. James Wong is here. What are we gonna do today? We are gonna eat John B, right? It's actually my second time eating John When was the first time? Do you remember? The first time was. I think it was in like Paya Leba. Okay. Paya Leba quarter, yeah. And then? Like, I remember like, there was a time when Jollibee just came out. In Paya Leba, it's actually a new brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because you saw, uh, the first one is here. Is it? Have you been there? No. So, we'll get to know more of James Wong later. It's our first time actually to meet. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about our collab, which you guys will have to uh, watch out really, really soon. Uh, I, I love the song. Do they know what song are you doing? No, 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 no. We cannot reveal yet. Secret. Secret, yeah, secret. It's secret. It's secret. You have to watch out for that one. You always come Ride here. the lift, huh? You always come here. Uh, if I'm going to eat Jollibee and if I'm going home, I'm gonna buy some things to bring back to the Philippines. Dude, this is Jollibee. Yeah, Daniel Shaw. I love Daniel Shaw. Okay, this is what are we gonna do? Uh, we will let the person in front of us decide what we are going to eat. Not decide, you whatever. Eat. He or she ordered, that is what we're going to order. If they order like a bucket of chicken, then we have, then to, we have to finish that one. If they order one piece chicken meal, then we have to share. <laughs> so, I hope not, I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry wow. also. Then later we're gonna talk about James Wong, uh, the newest TikTok sensation. <laughs> and we'll talk about his, uh, his Tadhana cover because I was so amazed by that one. Really? Yeah, the Tadhana. We'll, we'll talk more about it later. Yeah, let's just order food first. Uh, Welcome to Jollibee, bruh! Thank you! <laughs> okay, so two of them are ordering, so I hope they order a lot of food. I can see, I can see. I can see. There you go. Hi, ma'am! What's your order? Nila? Chicken spaghetti. The person in front of us ordered this, so we're gonna order this one. Chicken spaghetti. Two. Two? Okay, then we order the same. One spicy yeah. one. Yeah. Ma'am! 
sikat tong kasama ko. This one is a famous Singaporean. No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Here's our food. There you go, bro. Let's go. Oh, you want here? Or you want there? No, it's not available. Oh, so we're sitting yeah. together. Do the honor. Sada. Oh, spaghetti. It's uh, spicy. Yeah, so this is what they ordered. So this is what we are going to eat. And we will discuss a little of our collaboration and some brief introduction for James Wong while we are eating. Mukbang mode! Uh, 
Dude, it's can't say no. I can't say no. It could feel like it could feel like I am already good in singing. Back in the Philippines, I'm just normal. Aww. If you go to the Philippines, man, there are a lot of way, 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 way better singers, better musicians and performers. Mm. That is one something that I'm really happy about being a Filipino because it's becoming part of our of being resilient. We are we're a poor country. But being poor doesn't mean that we have to wallow in that that movement. We are happy in it. And we find joy in singing. Is it a culture thing? Like is your, your culture in general like the same? Yeah. You just sing. Yeah, because um, it's like an outlet. It's the easiest route, it's the easiest way for Filipinos to form camaraderie with others. Mm, and that's it. You guys are friends already. I see. How old is James Hall? Make a guess. Make a guess. Be a guess first. We'll pause for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm actually 25. You just finish your YouTube your 35. I am 21. I was really young, I was probably really like young? primary school, like 12 years old, 13 years old. I feel so old when you said, I was really young. Yeah. I was really young. <laughs> I'm stuck with the age of 22. It's just a number. If you keep yourself like young at heart, always, you will look younger. Yeah. More friends though. Uh, <laughs> please, can you play one of my songs? <laughs> if you're asking me here, I can't say no. Yeah, you can say no. We can do a cover together. I think you will love one of my songs. Which one? Your love. Your love. Is it bad love? It's a bad Why do you think I love it? Why do you think I love it? The way you play your song is the way it's not the right. I write my songs. I love sad songs. But how about you? Can you like distinguish like when you hear a song, you you know already what key they are playing? No. Well, I don't know the key because I don't have perfect pitch. Hmm. Hmm? I don't have perfect pitch. But you know what? Charlie Poole thing. Yes. Charlie Poole. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I can't tell exactly what note it is. Uh -huh. But I can tell the relations between each other. Okay. Like, and that is called relative pitch. The first chord to the next chord. Hmm. How far is it from high? So that you kind of know, if you know the first chord, you know what is the second chord. Okay. So I kind of need to like one reference chord. Okay, let's talk about you being so in love with jazz. What is with the jazz thing that you really like? The thing that I love most about jazz is, firstly I love the sound of it. Mm. And I love the vibe of it. Like when I think about jazz, I think about I think about being at peace mm -hmm. and, I, and I think about holidays for some reason because I feel that you know when you go to hotels they play jazz music and, and hotels normally related to like holidays Do you imagine yourself playing in the Yes I want to play in the Dude, I'm the same, I'm the same because I imagine myself singing in the hotel yeah. and I think one more thing why I love jazz is because I love Christmas. Mm. And Christmas is a lot of jazz. So I think it's the freedom of music in jazz, the freedom of improvisation. Is like, yeah, it's like, you know, you know like in jazz improvisation is a big thing. It's kind of like you are not planning what you're going to play, you're just playing, playing whatever you're feeling at the moment, you're playing whatever that is, comes to your mind. I think having that kind of freedom to do that, it's a very musical thing in the world how it's happening. Especially for you. You like that genre the most and then you have the liberty to just play it. Like yeah, you just all. go like everywhere you want. Nobody's gonna tell you this is wrong or this is not. Just just do it. Yeah. I think that's the most important about the music. The freedom of music. Like not just reading the sheet music, not just sticking to what it is in front of you. But being able to be free with the thoughts. Mm. Like you know how people say that music is a language? Yeah, things that you cannot express, you cannot utter. Yeah. This is how you do it. Yeah. Music. Yeah, and, and, and when you talk, you don't just look at script all the time. Right? 
like right now I'm talking, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm just saying whatever comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. But I think that's the same for music. Playing whatever you feel at the moment. Yeah. That's the most authentic part of it. Yeah. I love the chicken. Spaghetti, how's the spaghetti? Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. I saw one of the photos like you have like a super long run. And because I play back end, then he reminds me of Gene Kasama. It's a, it's a character. I'll show you later. So now we're going to talk about our plan with collab. I wanted to have a collab with a Singaporean. A Singaporean awesome pianist. Yeah. I think you're awesome. What's 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 your impression when I ask you to as a collab? Did you feel weird? Did you feel any like uh oh who's this? Okay, honestly because I think it's different in Philippines and in Singapore. Mm -hmm. But being a musician you have to meet people. Like you have to meet the people out there. I once heard this quote that no it's not a phrase that says your network is your network. Correct. Right? So the amount of people you know that's gonna help you Right, right. And music connection is, is key. It's very important. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah. And of course, we have Richard Ferris. He doesn't look very suspicious. So here we are. So here we are. And we're doing a collab. We're going to reveal to you the title very, very soon that we're not going to say it here in this part. But I think you're going to love it, guys. Because I've heard only few male version of this one. Okay. So I was thinking, I need a very reliable a uh, passionate pianist to play the instrumental of this one and I'm so excited for this and guys you should like wait for it because uh, in the coming weeks we're gonna prepare for that one what did you say about the, our first collab? now I feel very pressured yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited because uh, I think you suggested the song right? yes I suggested yeah, and, and, and I love the song I had it on Spotify Wait, am I your first oh, Filipino friend? No, I have a really good Filipino friend. But Ooh. but he he's born and raised in Singapore, Ooh. so we don't really talk about his country's culture. Mm. It's, I, I basically treat him as as a normal Singapore. Yeah, Singapore. So I would say you are my first. I'm on vacation every single day. And then day. He, he, he played Tadhana, which is one of the best songs of Hat Dharma. And I love that song because I have a version of it. Mm. Who suggested you that song? Okay, I actually thought one of my friend is a Filipino right? He actually played it and he sang it. So so I was asking him, you know, what is one of the most popular songs? Mm. Like if you tell me one of the most popular songs that you are saying right? So Do you know the meaning? No, I actually don't know. Okay. I don't know. Like I've been seeing comments that saying something something my tahana. I don't know, okay, what is tahana? Tadhana means destiny. Yeah, so after my friend told me about Tatana, I actually went Google to search what is one of the most popular songs. Mm -hmm. So Tatana was actually one of them. Mm -hmm. And I really like it because it's better. Like, I understand and I know that uh, most of my friends on TikTok are uh, uh, Filipinos. Yeah, so it's my way of saying thank, thank you. you. Uh, but really, like, it's, it's crazy. Like, so yeah, so that's it. How's how's your food? How's your food? It's amazing. I don't know why I didn't try it earlier. I have friends telling me you know, they, they want to try to do but somehow they didn't manage to. Mm -hmm. Today is my second, second time. Second time. Actually, they are third and fourth. Yeah. Hey James, this is all of you. <laughs> this time we're not gonna vlog anymore. We're just yeah, gonna keep yeah, one video. Yeah. This is the first time you guys see James Wall, and you'll see more of him in some of my content. Uh, but please do watch out for our first amazing collab and I hope you guys will follow. Do you have anything to promote like your TikTok or Instagram account? What's your username in your Twitter? Is it is it in your IG? Is it the same all the same? No. My Instagram is 
He doesn't know how to do James Wong. J A N E S. J A N E S W O N G. And a dot, full stop, K L. What's K L? K L is my Chinese name. What is it? Kang Le. Kang Le. Kang Le. Kang. Kang. Kang Le. Le. Kang Le. Kang Le. Yeah. And my TikTok is James Wong K L without the. And my YouTube is James Wong. I will fix it first Wednesday. I know one. You know what? What? What is it? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And just follow James Wong. I know you guys will surely follow him after this vlog. Salamat. If you have any song that you guys want us to collab after you hear our first collab, please do so. Comment it down below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of my next video. So once again, thank you so much guys for watching. We enjoyed our job with you and I enjoyed talking to you. It was my first time talking to James Wong. It feels like you might have been. Once again, thank you bro for joining us here. Thank you, thank you guys. And thank you so much guys. I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so I love you all. See you in the next video. Let's go.